Hey everyone, Ron Phillips with Romika Designs, romikadesigns.com. You can also find us on YouTube at lasershoplive.com. We have a 24 seven feed of our laser shop out there. But today we're going to work on leather. Well, leather and leatherette, if you will. So I'm gonna be using the leatherette. I'm gonna be engraving the leatherette on the fiber laser. And then I'm going to engrave some veg tan leather on the CO2 laser and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to be making two patches, two hat size patches uh, that we're going to be shipping out. So I just wanted to bring you along for the ride. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're going to first start with the leatherette patch. The leatherette patch is 52 millimeters by 76 millimeters. And we're just gonna lay it on the fiber laser bed. I'm gonna be using my OM Tech 30 watt fiber laser. And we're gonna be using light burn to do our design work and engraving today. So ultimately I've created this border out here uh, to just show the size of the patch on the work area. But this is the logo that we're going to be engraving. American Patriot flag logo. Now I run specific settings for my leatherette patches and we'll bring that up over here. So I run 1500 millimeters per second, 36% power at a 30 kilohertz frequency. And I run a 0 0.02 on the line without a cross hatch. Now I'm gonna change my scan angle to be zero and everything else looks good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, frame the logo. We'll click frame and see what it looks like over here on the patch. So I can line the patch up. Okay. So now my patch is lined up. I can also use the contour selection here on the screen to, actually, to have it actually draw the patch or draw the logo on the patch. Now it's not moving super fast because there are a lot of vector lines there, but you get the idea. All right, so for the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and click start. It's gonna go ahead and reframe because of the way I have mine set up. Put my uh, safety glasses on and then we'll get going. Hey guys, I'm adding this part after the fact, but I did wanna let you know that you do need to turn on your fume extractor on both your CO2 laser and your fiber laser because leather, especially the veg tan leather, really, really smells bad. So make sure you're extracting all the fumes out of the room uh, just so that you don't have to deal with that smell. You're gonna get a little bit of it, but uh, be sure to turn those on. Okay, there you go. As you can see, it was a very quick engrave. We'll wipe that off. Just simply use a microfiber cloth to wipe it. But there it is, American Patriot on the dark brown leatherette patch, hat patch, 76 by 52 millimeters. Pretty quick. Again, this was using the OM Tech 30 watt fiber laser. Okay, that was the leatherette patch, hat patch on the OM Tech 30 watt fiber laser. We're gonna move over now to the CO2 laser. I have a 60 watt CO2 laser. That's the one that's right behind me here. And we're going to do the same size patch with a little bit of a difference on some light colored veg tan leather. Uh, again, in the, in the 60 watt CO2 laser. All right, let's get going. Okay, I've got a piece of my one and a half to two millimeter veg tan leather already set up here in the CO2 laser. I've already got my laser lens focused and everything is set. 
Now let's move over to the computer for the design. Okay, again, we're gonna be using light burn to do our design work. This is a different machine. I've already captured the image of my laser bed here with the leather on it. And I've already set the outside border of my patch to the 72 by, actually, let's see, 76 by 52 millimeters. This interior line, let me show you what I've done over here with this interior line. So in the settings for the black, which is this line on the outside, you see that's black on the outside, blue on the inside, red on the outside. So the red is my cut line. The black line, however, is going to be a perforated line, meaning it's gonna be a dashed line. And a lot of people don't realize that you can do this in light burn, but if you go into the settings right here on that selection, you can turn on perforation mode and set the cut and skip distances, which I've got set to two millimeters. Now you don't see that out here. When you look at this line up close, you don't see that out here. But if I select this and then do a preview from the top up here, when you open it, you can see the dashed or perforated line. So I'm going to be using that as a score line and not an engraved line. So it's simply just going to draw that line around the inside of the, of the patch. And the way I've got it lined up over here on the right, it's going to draw the perforated line first, then it's going to engrave the inside and it's going to then cut the leather. So let's close that and let's talk about our settings for this one and a half to two millimeter veg tan leather. So for my line, the perforated line, I'm gonna be using basically the same settings that I use to fill or to engrave. On my 60 watt fiber laser, it's going to be a 500 speed, 500 millimeters per second at an 18% power. So you don't need a lot of power when you're doing leather, just enough to burn the surface. So let's go over here to the fill line. I'm also going to be use a line interval of 0 0.080, which gives me a lines per inch of 317.5. And we'll fill the groups together there. On my settings, however, you'll note that I do not use air for my line when I'm scoring. I do not use air assist on my fill when I'm engraving, but I do use air assist on my cut. So let's send all of this over to the laser and get cutting. Okay, once again, we're gonna be using my 60 watt Thunder Laser Nova 24. We're going to be bringing in the files. So there's the file as it, as it shows up on the screen. We'll hit enter there and bring all of that in. So it's going to do the engraving, or it's going to do the score first, then the engraving, and then the uh, the cut. So I'm going to go ahead and frame this out on the leather to make sure that I've got the leather set properly. Then we'll close the lid, and we'll get going. Okay, let's pull this off the laser and see what it looks like. That is outstanding. I especially love the perforated line around the outside that appears to be stitching. The cut on the laser also blackens the edges, 
gives it a nice, clean, crisp look. God, family, and country. There you have it, guys. We've got the leatherette patch that's got the stitching around it and the heat press glue already on the back of it that is a perfect size. But then we can also do leather. This leather patch was done in the CO2 laser. The leatherette patch was done on the fiber laser, which can also be done on the CO2 laser. And, and vice versa, you just have to have your settings correct. Okay guys, there you go. A leatherette patch on the fiber laser and a veg tan leather patch on the CO2 laser. Again, you can do those on either laser, but you just have to check your settings. One place that I would send you to check out settings and watch some other laser work, laser work being done is lasereverything.net. Alex and the guys over there are fantastic, and there are other fine makers and laser engravers out there who have uh, YouTube channels that show all the good stuff and all the settings for doing different types and different thicknesses of, of leather. Again, lasershoplive.com, that's where you can find our YouTube channel or go out to YouTube and search Laser Shop Live or Romika Designs. We're typically in the laser shop most days, but the cameras automatically just track around in the laser shop so you can see what we're doing out here when we are out here working all hours of the day and night. All right, I'm Ron Phillips, guys. If you need anything from me, email me at ron at romikadesigns.com or visit our website at romikadesigns.com and complete the contact form. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with us. See ya.